Well, Dylan, what's been the feeling this week uh, since the loss in Paris? A bounce of the ball or that England could have done more? Uh, obviously, heartbreaking, heartbreaking finish for us. And uh, I wouldn't have changed anything in the week. I thought we prepared well uh, the way we approached that game. Um, you know, I wouldn't have done anything different. But, um, you know, early on, uh, deflection and uh, a very French bounce of the ball and uh, all of a sudden you're seven points down. But no, just like the All Blacks game, uh, great character to kind of take control of that game again. And like I said, heartbreaking at the end there to, um, to concede. In the aftermath of the game, there were a few questions over Stuart Lancaster's timing of replacements. Do players need to come off after an hour? Is, has there been an overreaction? How do you feel about it? Players don't need to worry about that. It's the boss's job and all I do is play and play until I'm told to come off. Um, but no, I thought the, the the subs made an impact at the weekend. I thought Ben Morgan and Tom Young's carried very well, got us over the game line. So um, that's what they do, add energy, add tempo to the game. I thought they did that. Now you're one of just four from Stuart Lancaster's first game in Scotland a couple of years ago. Owen Farrell, uh, Chris Robshaw and Dan Cole, the others. Are you beginning to feel that this is a more settled England side now? Uh, yeah, I think uh, as a team, as a squad, we're growing. Um, I think Lee Dixon was there that day as well, his first cap. Um, so... As, as a squad, we are growing and it's uh, it's also encouraging to, to see some younger players still coming through, uh, like Jack and, and Luther obviously coming in and people like Ant Watson knocking on the door. And I think before even leading up to this World Cup, I think you'll see more faces coming in. But as long as we've got that core group and uh, you know we, we keep improving, um, I think the if you look two years ago from, from the side that we have now, the, the rugby we're playing is, is, you know, we've come on so much. So, um, you know, we're showing good signs and uh, hopefully this weekend... Um, will be you know a little more entertaining than, than some people are kind of predicting. They're saying the weather's going to control this game, but uh, hopefully we can play some good rugby. Well, yes, England Scotland or Scotland England as it'll be. It's it's particularly up in Murrayfield. It's not been a particularly pretty fixture over the years. No, it's certainly. I mean, I think I've drawn up there, and every other game's been uh, you know kind of five point margin. But you know, two years ago we we're, were a young team. I think Charlie got a charge down. Uh, and we turned over and got another try for you know our defensive work. So you know, and then you a year on last last Six Nations we played some of our best rugby in the opening game. So you know this weekend I'm optimistic. Uh, I think we can go up there. I think we can play um, as long as we don't get into a, an arm wrestle with a big forward pack. Uh, let's look to play away. Uh, take them on there obviously up front, but then look to move the ball as well.